Welcome back students. In this video I'm going to show you how to perform unsupervised image classification in ArcGIS. For this first of all we have to open ArcMap. I use version 10.6 so but if you have a higher version it will also work or also it could be possible to apply unsupervised um, classification in earlier versions of ArcGIS. So this is how my interface of ArcMap looks like. So remember, the first principle is to um, sa to save your project. So for this, you have to go to File, Save, and let us navigate to um, to the folder where you would like to store your analysis, and uh, basically where you would like also to create inputs and output outputs of this analysis. So I will call unsupervised. classification and click save and the folder is correct. Well, after uh, we have saved our project, we have to add uh, satellite images that will be used uh, as an input for analysis. For, um, for the uh, sake of demonstration of this uh, unsupervised classification method, I'm going to use um, a composite from Sentinel, uh, which was created for the study area in Ukraine. So I, I'm basically add this uh, file from my uh, storage on the computer, and I'm going to provide you with this file also uh, for you for classification purposes and for training purposes. I'm going to use uh, basically a median uh, composite. Basically, what it is, it is a median composite um, of uh, um, July and um, I think um, June and July images of Sent Sentinel images of a study area. So this uh, automatically, uh, when you load uh, satellite images uh, into the ArcGIS, if the layer stacks, layer stacks, uh, those images where the bands, individual bands of satellite images are stacked or combined together, then uh, automatically you can see the visualization, which is a true color composite. If you are not sure about all these terminologies, what is true color composite, what is layer stack, and if you w want to learn more about um, satellite image analysis, you can have a look in my courses. I have a very nice introductory course on remote sensing. But what important for you to remember for unsupervised classification in ArcGIS yeah, that uh, the input for uh, classification tasks, either supervised or unsupervised in ArcGIS, um, uh, ArcGIS uses uh, band, uh, stacked images. So basically, if you go to the properties of the image, you can see that this is not a one uh, band image, but it is uh, um, a layer stack and we have seven bands. Yeah. So here you can also change in the RG RGB composite, you can also change the visualization of uh, your image. So basically, in case you are working with the um, um, image that you have downloaded from um, service, any web portal uh, or image distribution facility, and uh, it is not a layer stack, the first uh, thing that you have to do is to combine your uh, image in a, a layer stack using special analyst tools. Okay, um, well, a few words about this area for you to better understand. This is agricultural uh, area with a predominant um, uh, a crop, uh, the use of the land for crop growth, which you can easily see. There is a river here, uh, a small uh, settlement or city, and basically some also forested areas. So um, why I'm telling you this? Because uh, uh, unsupervised classification, as you remember from our theoretical uh, blog, basically um, the output of unsupervised classification is unlabeled uh, classes. So we as an analyst uh, uh, do not have control over what type of classes uh, will be labeled by our unsupervised classification and basically the statistical methods are used uh, by ISO data algorithm which is the algorithm that is implemented in ArcGIS 
to um, uh, group spectrally, spectrally sim similar uh, pixels in, into one class. This is, uh, in a simple words, how unsupervised classification learned, but you can also um, have a look again on the lectures, uh, that on the videos where I explain it in more detail. Okay, so now when we know a little bit about uh, the study area, let's uh, jump into uh, analysis um, themselves. So um, you can either search uh, for, for the tools uh, here in the ARC toolbox, um, and then you have to navigate to special analyst tools, or I also like to use this uh, search pen. Uh, which is available in ArcGIS because uh, it saves a lot of time. So, for example, I'm Q, I'm searching for unsupervised classification algorithm. Well, or maybe ISO. Yeah. So. ISO is it's a name of uh, uh, algorithm which is used is a data, and here you you can get um, different tools which are related to the to this name, and um, we need well basically I think this one is a cluster special analyst, no not sorry not that one, yeah this one, so basically um, what um, is a cluster and supervised classification algorithm uh, needs uh, to, uh, to a specification of input raster bands. And this is our composite uh, image that uh, you have to select. Then uh, here you, there, there is a, a field which is called number of classes. We have to specify how many classes. Let's start with the five. We will do it in a, uh, several times and I show you what will happen if we increase also a number of classes. Then you have to uh, specify the output classified raster. Let's do this. Or maybe Five is a number of classes. The name convention ISO is the name of the algorithm. This is a study area, and five refers to the name number of classes. Well, here there is also uh, some um, um, parameters which you can change. For example, minimum number of cells which is valid in a class. The default is twenty. Um, this you can you can adjust this number depending on your uh, input area and for example if you want also to map um, classes which you know uh, have less than 20 uh, cells as an input then of course you have to adjust this number here sample interval um, which basically uh, identifies a sampling interval which will be used uh, for uh, training is a data though this algorithm does not perform training in sense we are, um, we are used to in supervised classification still as an input uh, that the data is sampled so here you the default is 10 but you can also uh, play with this and the output signature file you can uh, do it you can create an output signature file for the training that is uh, going to be collected here in the previous steps and then for example uh, use it later on uh, for classification um, with the train classifier tool and special analyst well i would say let's keep all this as a default and uh, click ok and this is warning which does not refer to our analysis so the warning is for another tool okay so when the algorithm stops working here, you can see the progress bar is a cluster and supervised classification and everything was fine because here we don't have any warning signals. So sometimes you can see the warning and then it means that something went wrong basically. All right, let's have a look on our uh, classif uh, classified image. Um, so just for you to, to, to see. We have five classes. I think um, sp well sp that we are grouped spe spectrally uh, based on the spectral um, uh, similarity of the pixels groups. 
and we can see that uh, some of these uh, groups do make a lot of sense for example here is a lot of agricultural fields but uh, what is also interesting that the phenology so all these agricultural fields but phenology of these fields differs from these fields here i think here we have already maybe that was wheat so the fields are already harvested and here we still have green fields and this you can also nicely um, see uh, as an output uh, of our classification here we have uh, bare land uh, which is in red and here as well red so it's nicely also was captured our city located here in the north of the study area well you can see that this could be uh, of course improved because this is built up areas but uh, uh, which is depicted in red but uh, in green but overall some fields were also uh, classified as the same class but I think um, this is already some first result and uh, it also allows us to explore uh, better uh, the spectral available spectrally available classes in our image now let's perform the same uh, procedure but uh, let's specify a number of classes as 10 so basically I select again our initial uh, image we have to I'm sorry this is a wrong tool the tool called is a class and super unsupervised classification and here we have to select first our image number of classes then output file Okay. All right. So this is our classification with already uh, with uh, ten classes, and I think that this basically is better results because have a look how nicely uh, this part of the image was captured here. I don't know what is here. Looks like like abandoned fields, maybe some. Um, yeah some uh, vegetated areas but they definitely now are, are classified as a different class from here which is was uh, harvested fields yeah so here we have also a nice clustered uh, settlements and i think that basically this uh, classification with 10 classes is more um, is, is a better representation uh, for our land cover and land use uh, variability in our study area and this is also a very nice example for what unsupervised classification can be used so by by this uh, test we can already uh, say that if uh, i would like to conduct a supervised classification with five classes in my study area probably it would be not uh, the, the output would be not as uh, precise or accurate if if i would uh, have selected 10 classes because of the present inherent present spectral vari uh, variability within my satellite image so you can see that uh, unsupervised classification is often could be used uh, as a first step before supervised classification where we use machine learning algorithm as ISO data to determine for example uh, the spectral variability which is uh, present in our image to uh, have the feeling to have a feeling what kind of what number of classes uh, are present within our image which is very useful information uh, for supervised classification and which could be also used to guide us uh, with when we will apply it supervised learning machine uh, algorithms for image classification tasks